cheers. <laughs> Today, I... Well, where have we been? Where have we been? Oh, we've we been... We haven't seen them since, oh, since Egypt. Yeah, we haven't seen you since Egypt. So, we flew back to Istanbul and we've been here for one week. Mm -hmm. And now we're at the Istanbul airport. And, and I am flying to England. And, and I'm Adam. not. Adam's not. This is not only the first time in the last almost year of this trip that we will not be together. Especially for a month. But it's like the first time in a few years, in the last 10 years, that we're going to be apart for an entire month. So it's a little weird. It's a little bit weird. Sherry's got some family in the UK and some friends that she'd like to go and see and I'm gonna head back around Turkey again because I feel like out of all the places that we've been it was one of the places that I didn't see all that I wanted to see. I want to experience more of it here. So. Yeah, especially in the south. Yeah. Um, and so this camera will be coming with me and the other one will be going with Sherry. We're not really sure what we're going to get around to filming over the next month. But yeah, this is kind of a checkpoint on the entire journey where this is like n not only the kind of the halfway mark of the ultimate, Big like trip. likely ultimate trip, but also a bit of a transitional bit where it's going to be a little bit different where you're away. And then in a month, Sherry's going to come and meet us back here in Istanbul and there'll even be an extra person, my best buddy. Uh, Luke from Australia, so <laughs> it's gonna be so much it's fun. It's all gonna be a little different from from here on. Um, yeah. And Luke will join us for about two months, so yeah, the next three months particularly will be kind of different to what yeah. you're used to. Um, First time. Yeah. I miss you so much. I miss you. Already. I miss you already. <laughs> um, every day we're together. Every day. So, yeah, I think that it's likely that I'll probably be filming more overall. I have intention of hitchhiking and couch surfing and maybe crossing some borders that we'll see if I get to. Um, and then doing the usual archaeological hunting and what have you like that. <laughs> uh, you have some plans of what you want to do, but... I'm mainly just excited to see my family. That's mostly the reason for the trip yeah. to the UK. So there may be... Because I've been to London before. Yeah. So this will be the second time I'm visiting. There may be a couple of videos from Sherry's portion. There may be none. They may come in between the ones that I film. They may not. I'm, we're not entirely sure. Enjoy the next sort of month or so worth of content. <laughs> nice. <laughs> See ya. We'll say bye properly. Say good goodbye. Thanks. Thanks again for watching. I'm a little bit scared. It's gonna be fine. You're scared of what? I just like being on my own. You know. It's gonna be fine. I believe in you. It's, gonna be fine. it's the first English country we've been to for the last year. Yeah. That's actually really reassuring that I'm going to a country where they mostly everyone speaks English. That's cool. Okay. See you. Yeah, it's fine. So, uh, after leaving Istanbul, I made my way to Gebze. I stayed in Gebze maybe two hours trying to get a lift. And I walked down the road some. I found a section that was taking the highway that comes towards Bursa, where I'm staying tonight. And I was picked up by lovely Summit. 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 Uh, it's raining like crazy. Inanılmaz bir yağmurlu havada yedim. 
Semet has to. Bir de otostop çekti dayanamadık. Yeah, otostop. In Turkey, in Turkey they they say autostop instead of hitchhike. English we say hitchhiking. Autostop. Autostop. English hitchhike. 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 Yeah, like hiking. Yeah, and then anladım. hitchhike. Yeah. Anladım. Şimdi yeah. now we bus. Bus station. Yeah, he's taking me to the bus station here Bursa near bus station. near to Bursa because it's raining like crazy, so he doesn't want me to get wet. Uh, it's been a lovely drive so far. He has to drive three more hours south. Going to Denizli. Denizli yeah. Denizli Yeah. It's a fantastic first first hitch. Okay, hello. Uh, it's the next day. Here's my terrible attempt at keeping you updated. So, yesterday, you saw me arrive in Bursa. He was chucking it down with rain. And uh, the guy dropped me off at the bus station, which I didn't really want to be at. So I hopped back on the main road and I hitched just like 10 minutes further into town where there was a metro station and then I had organized to meet with my first host on um, couch surfing which is a application where people host you free of charge and you kind of expected to just be their friend and be polite and I'm good at that so um, I stayed with a young boy and his family I say young boy, he's 18, he's younger than me. Uh, and his family was super welcoming. We had delicious dinner and it's Ramadan currently in, in, in Turkey. And so we waited till the sun went down and then we all had a big dinner and it was nice. Then this morning I've caught that metro as far east as I possibly can back th through Bursa. And I'm currently just walking a couple of kilometers further east out of the city. I'm on the main road that goes to Eskeshke here. Es Eski Shehir, which uh, I believe means old city. Um, I'll try and keep you updated. It's kind of hard with the camera and then hitchhiking and then metro and then making sure I've got food and drink and all the rest of it. So anyway, uh, I'm doing well. I'll see you soon. Okay, so just after I spoke to you before, is that before or after lunch? Well, I had some lunch and then I stuck my thumb out and within minutes the guy picked me up. He wasn't going all the way to where I was intending on going, which is Eskishir. He was going to Inagol, which is a smaller town closer. Maybe like 40 kilometers from Bursa where I was is Inagol and then another 100 kilometers from Inagol is Eskishir where I'm hoping to get to still today. Uh, He dropped me off like on the western side of town, which was a bit of a pity because always going through the cities, people are driving into the city. So it's hard to then find someone going all the way. Hindsight, I probably should have just waited there where he picked me up really quickly until someone came that was going to Eskishir so that we could have just gone straight there. Oh well, I stayed there for about an hour in the west, on the western side of Inagol. Uh, eventually someone picked me up and took took me to the center of Inigol. I wanted to see if there was maybe a local bus that would take me to the east. There wasn't. Uh, there's a, there was a 200 lira, so about 10 Australian dollars bus that would take me all the way to Eskashia. I didn't really want to do that. So I've walked maybe another five kilometers east and just up here, there's the on-ramp onto the highway that goes directly to Eskashia. So I'm gonna try my luck down there for a bit. If not, maybe I try and find somewhere to stay here in Inigal tonight, uh, or perhaps I'll go back and get that bus, but um, I, want, I don't wanna take the bus. The local buses, I don't really mind because it normally costs a few cents, whereas I wanna try and hitchhike the thing. So we'll see how we go from here. Uh, day two, going okay.
yesterday it was this thing where it was like it took a long time for the first ride and then the guy took me all the way where I needed to be this one was a bit in the middle where it was like the first guy took me halfway and now I'm struggling um, so we'll see apparently here in the west of Turkey is where it's hardest to hitchhike anyway uh, the west and in the south so We'll see if it changes maybe it's going to get easier the further east i go or the further yeah but we'll, we'll see what happens i've stopped here quickly for one of my favorite things in the world turkish chai hi day wedding all right good morning uh, I did that thing again where I didn't tell you what happened or document much of how I got around so uh, I spoke to you just before I was going up to the exit was it on the exit I walked probably another kilometer or two from there and within 10 minutes, a huge big truck picked me up. Um, the guy spoke no English, but it was, I was pretty excited because it was like my first time in one of those massive big trucks. There's a bed in the back. And he was, I, it wasn't weird, but I just, I wasn't sure if I was, I was okay to film. And, and um, you know, with the language barrier, I thought perhaps it's easier to just not film too much. So there was those couple of clips there f f of my view from the uh, from the passenger seat of that huge big truck. Anyway, he was, uh, I think, driving here to Eskishir. Uh He might have been going to Ankara, and I was trying to ask him, like, are you going to Ankara? Because if you are, I'll come all the way with you. Um, at that stage, no one had accepted me to stay uh, in Eskishir. I'm not really entirely sure about that either, but I got out in Eskishir. I walked a couple of kilometers down the road, and uh, while I was kind of looking for uh, an Airbnb or a cheap hotel or something like this, another couch surfer host accepted me. And lovely, lovely man, uh, Mashun and he's welcomed me into his home and and it was it's been equally as nice as as the other time and he's invited his friend who speaks pretty good english and they showed me around the city last night and they cooked a huge big meal and we stayed up all night playing monopoly in turkish and it was fantastic i've had a great time uh and i've decided i'm going to spend another night here with my shun and his friend emir and um yeah, I just did my washing, had a shower, feeling pretty good. Gonna go out and explore Eskishir for a little bit. Um, yeah, and I'm sorry that th these videos are maybe a little different to the, the ones that you're quite used to, you know, are showing you those cities. I might not show you as much of the city and, and, and maybe these videos will be a little bit more just about how I'm getting around and when I'm getting around. And I, I'm gonna do my best to try and film a bit more of the, the people who are picking me up on the road and, and maybe some of the things that we get up to. Um, I'm just, it's hard. I never know if people are okay with me filming them and I never know if it's, you know. I, I, I haven't yet broken the, the mold of um, putting a camera in someone's face when I'm the one that wants to be on the internet. Or, uh, document my travels they're just living in their home and they're living in their life so uh, it's a bit of a funny thing and I kind of thought it would be a bit easier especially now that it's it's been nearly a year um, but yeah it is what it is I'll maybe I'll try and show you some of the the city here uh, it's really cool there's lots of young people I think there's two huge big universities uh, and you walking around it feels like it's like 90% people under the age of 30 uh, Emir said last night, one of the guys here, said that it's, there's a population of a million people in Eskishir and 300 
plus thousand of them are students. So that's pretty insane. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go have a nice day. Thank you.